This video is going to focus on using markers with Premiere Pro. If I click on this video clip, we can see the markers associated with this video clip. If I click on this video clip, we can see this has a lot of markers as well. They're totally different markers. If I tab over the markers tab, we can see even more metadata was added. If I click back over here into the project and I click on this clip, I can hit the markers tab and now see the metadata for this particular clip as far as the markers are concerned. If you're using dual monitors, you might want to set it up similar to how mine is. These are just bins. I don't have a lot of video clips. I only have four video clips in this particular tutorial. But you can just click on the different, and then you're not clicking back and forth between the you know, the two different tabs constantly. The video usage and audio usage, sometimes this works with Premiere Pro and sometimes it doesn't. Like right now, it will not let me get any of, of the data I want. I'm clicking on all of these and nothing's happening. Now, sometimes if you just simply go backwards, now it might let me do it. And now we're being able to see the, the usage. It's a bug within Premiere Pro. We can select to look at the red markers only. We can select to look at the white markers only. We can select to look at just red and white. So it does give you some options. I do wanna let people know that if I go to the tab over here, as I click on this one, we see Premiere, Edius, Final Cut Pro, Avid. These are nonlinear editing systems. If I click on this particular clip, we're seeing Bryce, Carrara, Poser, True Space. These are 3D animation programs. They're using the same color scheme. What I would like to see Adobe add to Premiere Pro as far as markers are concerned is the option to have the colors, but also have markers that are circular, square, and triangle. That way, when you're doing a project that might involve different categories, you could use the circle, the square, and the triangle to separate the different categories. That's just one thing I'd like to see added. I would also like to see the option added to search markers through all the clips, all, all the video clips, not just the current video clip you're on. So little things like that would make Premiere Pro a lot better as far as using metadata is concerned. I want to let people know that if I have this clip here and I have an assistant editor and they go through and, you know, divide the video clip up into its different categories, we can see with this particular setup that I talked about Premiere, then I talked about Edius, then Final Cut Pro, then Avid. So it's kind of in order. So if you wanted to do just Final Cut Pro, you could select the blue, but it's kind of in order right now where it on this particular video clip, we can see Final Cut Pro is all blue. DaVinci Resolve is like the yellow orange. Premiere is white. So if we were to go to the markers here, they are scattered out because I'm talking about real time for all the different editing systems in the GUI. And if I just wanted to see what I had for Avid, I could click on the red. If I wanted to see what I had for Final Cut Pro, I could kick, click on the blue. So markers could be really useful, as I stated. Just a few extra features w would make, you know, markers have much more power than they do right now. Another thing I'd like to point out, I'm going to go to this video clip here. It's pretty easy to add markers. You would just hit the M on your uh, keyboard. Then you'd have to hit the Alt if you want to stretch it out. So just strictly hit Alt and then you can stretch it out to cover a certain range. If we click on here, you can switch the color to pink. We could add like Avid. Although I think I'm gonna go with red. That's what I stuck with. And there we see Avid and it's kind of assigned the, the red color. It's easy to leave markers. I'll just slide the playhead a little bit farther, hit a marker there and I'll just hit a marker here and maybe a marker there. What I'm gonna do now is come to this marker and we can switch the color too. I'm gonna switch this to orange, then I'm gonna go to next, then I'm gonna go to yellow, then I'm gonna go to next, then I'm gonna go to blue, and then I'm gonna hit done. So we see all the markers have changed colors. I could have done it like this as well. If I hit the alt, if I click on this with the alt, I can stretch these out. 
I can click on the Alt, stretch this out as well. If I come back to this one, click on it, I can go to the previous one or the next one. And if I want to switch this, I can change this to green. I can go next and go blue, next, yellow, next. And you'll see that now they switched again. So you can do it either way. I, I do think it's great that you can go previous to next. I want to say within this little like window, it's not really a control panel, but it would be nice if I had the option to select what color I want by default. And it would be nice if we could have the markers be square, triangle, or circular. Once you have the markers in place, like here I'm talking about Poser with it integrating with Carrara. Here I'm talking about Poser pre-made characters. When you select the markers or click on them, it goes to the marker that it's associated with, obviously. Here it's going to the white one. Here it goes to the yellow marker. If you wanted to drop this into the timeline, it'd be easy just to go right here. It's always going to be at the beginning, and I can just put push the I to make the endpoint, and then go to the end. If you get anywhere near it and click on it, it goes right to it. Then you can hit the O. Now we've got our in and out point set, and I can just drop it and drag it to the timeline pretty easy. I just want to say the audio and video usage is a really handy feature within Premiere Pro, but if I click on this, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. What I am going to say is this will jump to whatever timeline or sequence, however you want to call it, wherever it's being used. But I wish Adobe gave you the option to search just within the open sequence or to search in all the different timelines and sequences. That just make it a little bit more proficient because sometimes this can become really super long depending on how many times you use the video clip within a sequence or timeline. I want to say that I think the marker features within Premiere Pro are pretty good, but there's definitely room for improvement. And when you're first marking the in and out points with the markers, that could be a little bit easier method to do. Like you could just maybe hit the Alt key and then the I key and the Alt key and the O key to, to put in and out points for markers. Once they're you know marked, instead of having to go to the beginning and hit I and O, it would be great if you could just like click on the marker and hit like the Alt key or the Control key and have it drop down the timeline. So there's just a few things that could be done to tweak out, you know, the use of markers in Premiere Pro to make them much more effective.